What's up, everybody? Welcome out. Golden Boys podcast episode 12. Mm-hmm. I did that so we could overdub it because I have no idea what episode <laughs> it is. Um, Got to be honest. Uh, but hey, second the episode not in our studio. We're hanging out with the Press or Die ladies. Yes. What's up? How's it going? Wonderful. Thanks for uh, inviting us into your shop. Uh, we've been hanging out here today and uh, having lots of fun. We filmed the video. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Link will be in the description. Uh, really cool shop highlight. Uh, we did a little interview with the ladies and let them kind of share their story, you know, kind of their path and how they've gotten to where they are today. So uh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, we're super stoked to, to, to hang out with you guys and just be able to, you know, have some cool conversations. Yeah. Yeah, we're stoked too. Oh it's man, it's been a great day so far. We we ate some good food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, being a Texan, I have a pretty high standard for barbecue. Aggressive. Aggressive. I'm a, I, I, I can be a little aggressive about it, um, but I gotta say, we went to Jack's. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know if they have social media or not, but if they do, we'll freaking link it because it was amazing. <laughs> so good. Brisket was ten out of ten. I'm sure they got a social media. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to shout that out. You know, for all the people that watch the podcast <laughs> in the local Nashville, Tennessee area, <laughs> to go to, if go to you're Jack's. Coming through Nashville, go to Jack's. Jack's, yeah. Jack's Barbecue. Yeah, on Trinity yeah. Lane. Um, wait, where was it? Trinity. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, are you okay? Trinity Lane. Sorry, sorry if I was being too aggressive there. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Still a little choked yeah. up. Yeah. Trinity Lane. A little bit. Trinity Lane Jack's Barbecue. You gotta check it out. Yes. It was great. Um, that was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, we just been. We've known. Man, how long have we known you guys now? About two years now. Yeah. I'd say about two years. Yeah. Well, a little less than two years. I think. I think I reached out to Jonathan probably like. November of 2020. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That was, uh, yeah, was that 20? Oh, no. Was that? Yeah, that was, it was during 2020. Th- yeah. It was right in the middle of the, of the pandemic. Mm-hmm. I remember like all the lockdown stuff was going on. Yeah. Because that's um, when, that's where <laughs> I was, I was showing, I was showing Jared. You, see, it's funny how we were both showing each other, like, hey, check out this shop. And then you're like, no, check out this shop. Like, I was like, hands down, top of the line, like, tie dye stuff. Ever. Yeah, we hadn't, we hadn't really seen that. And we we follow a lot of people in the print world. Mm-hmm. You know, there's, there's manufacturers that are doing like you know the standard generic yeah you know where every shirt looks the same exactly the same Mm -hmm. yeah exactly but uh, but a a shop that was doing their own custom dyes and screen printing on top uh, I still don't know if I've seen another shop that's really doing that I haven't either think y'all are pretty in your own vein there (laughs) yeah 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 which is super rad Um, the fact that like you said everything is there's not one shirt that's the same right that's the whole goal is to yeah. make like everything unique to its mm-hmm. you know unique design um and you know i used to like when, when we first started dying like everything I, I like i wanted to make sure that every single shirt was different and it was you know all these different patterns yeah. and stuff and <clears throat> then we kind of started streamlining things with it and um it's just really cool how it comes out because you yeah. never know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, you just never know. And it's kind of like a little mini surprise. It's like, hello, I'm here. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> it opens like a flower and it's just there. You yeah. know? And it's like, I love you. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I, I've never really, like, I've never really gotten into tie dye. It was just never my thing. Mm-hmm. And I think it was like you said it earlier that it triggered when you said it you're like like the the traditional like hippie tie dye and I was like, yeah. yeah, I don't really dig that. Yeah. And I never knew there was other types. Mm-hmm. I just that was never something I had like looked into. Right. And then when I saw the stuff y'all were making, I was like, that's so different, so crazy. I never seen it. Um, and I remember like and I was like and I was even still hesitant to buy some of it. I was like, because I got some of your other things of like like hoodies and stuff that were a little more like just the print and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, man, I don't, I've just never had a tie dye. I'm like, what yeah. do I want? And then I saw one that popped up on the website, and it was like this crazy cool like like celestial like blue and purple. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. And it was gone instantly. I was like. 
dang it that was the one i was gonna scoop yeah, up yeah that was went fast yeah <laughs> but I, I saw that one i was like that's the one sold out dang well and was that like way back in the beginning when uh -huh. we first because when we originally started doing stuff we would literally post it on instagram and then we would put like the price and people had to claim it like there would just be oh, one yeah. of each item and mm. you had to comment to claim it and there was one guy that literally claimed almost everything well, we had people fighting <laughs> over stuff because yeah. because when we first started we were doing like vintage upcycled mm -hmm. stuff and then right. i was like dyeing it or bleaching it and we were putting different colors on it and customizing it and ripping it up or whatever you know yeah. mm -hmm. um just doing like kind of our style of stuff yeah. and a couple of the shirts we did were Halloween shirts and they were really oh, rad God. shirts and we had people fighting over them in the comments. Because we would do like time release drops, you know, mm -hmm. we would be like, yeah. oh, this is dropping at 9 a.m. tomorrow. So Smart. Be just people waiting for it. Yeah. 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 And that's kind of how it all started. And then we moved into, um, what did we use before Shopify? Squares. We were selling. We were selling. We were Squarespace. selling through Instagram. Well, oh. yeah. And then we went to Squarespace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then eventually to Shopify. Yeah. Yeah. Real quick though, y'all like y'all like Shopify a lot better. I, I love Shopify. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. I've used Shopify for probably four years now. I was just curious. We, just, we 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 currently have a Squarespace site, mm -hmm. and it and it's fine. It does good. Mm -hmm. um, it's really easy to build on and stuff. I just yeah. didn't know if y'all Shopify is super easy. I love yeah. Shopify. It? It's really easy to build. It's it, I've never really had any problems. It's super easy to print labels out of, mm -hmm. create orders, All like your customer stuff's logged in there, nice and organized. Nice. You know, you can you can integrate apps with it too, to where you can you know like put forms on there or, mm -hmm. or Mailchimp or like yeah. any of these. Like it's it's really There's awesome. There's lots of tutorial stuff on yeah. there and ways to build your business and gotcha. marketing, which is all that stuff's cool. You know. Yeah. yeah. It might be a route, like a side note to go mm -hmm. and just like, yeah, just, that's a, like Squarespace does pretty good, but I like, I just want like, you know, when we did the different breed shirts, like there was like so many, like I printed 25 and it sold out in, tw in few, less than two hours. Mm -hmm. And I was like, whoa, that's okay. crazy. People yeah. really like that. Okay. That's interesting. And then we did a pre-order and sold uh, over 50. Wow. And so I was like, holy smokes, okay, I think uh, I think we landed on something. But it was actually Jared shipped out the shirts, and it was like... Me and my son. It was a nightmare. <laughs> me and like Ma that. Maximus just, uh, helped me ship them out. He, yeah. was, he was earning money because he was saving up for a Switch, so he wanted to come to work. <laughs> what are we doing, buddy? Just shipping out some short shirts. Shipping out some shirts. That's awesome. So see, we were having to use stamps.com. <laughs> Hmm. Or the or stamps or whatever yeah. to like print our labels and yeah. stuff like that. Well, with Shopify, everything's integrated, mm -hmm. yeah. and you just literally go in, create the order, print the label. Pick UPS, you pick, nice. you, know, you yeah. pick your shipping, and yeah. you get a discount mm -hmm. on shipping. Nice, yeah, through yeah. that too. So we might need to do some comparisons and stuff. My wife does her store through through Shopify yeah. as well. It's way better. Yeah, I was just curious. I mean, um, it definitely I is for what we do. Yeah, yeah. That was a, a pretty aggressive sidebar, but. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little aggressive. Every I, transition. I, I, what's funny is I, what, what's funny is I wasn't saying that as a joke. That's just legit. That's legitimately how it came out. It's yeah. legitimately how yeah. it says it. Yeah, that's funny. They're giving me a hard time because I say aggressive a lot, apparently. That's like time number 10 during yeah. this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I know, we just started. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, that's cool. Uh, so yeah, y'all, so you reached out originally about some like exposure time stuff mm -hmm. through like DMs, which I want to touch on that a little bit because I think that's, social media is such a cool, like unique thing that we have nowadays um, for businesses. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's also a dumpster fire a lot of times, yeah. but, <laughs> <laughs> this is true. but, but I think when it's used how it's it original intended purpose to, you know, connect people, yeah. uh, I think it's, it's pretty amazing at that because, uh, you know, when when we've we been able to connect if not through you know uh, a, yeah. an instagram dm that you know connect us from hundreds of miles away yeah um you know right away so i just think that's pretty rad and i i think that uh, more people should uh try to do that mm -hmm. absolutely try to network with people within <clears throat> your within your business within your you know within your niche market mm -hmm. and stuff yeah um especially i mean i know some 
some business like this, but I've really seen this in the screen printing community where there's such a like, there's such a welcoming like network of people that are so willing yeah. to share knowledge and yeah, just not a help. competition deal. It's just like, no, sweet. I like your setup. I like your style. I like your flavor. Mm -hmm. like, that's awesome. I wish I could do that, but I'm not you, so you do that well type deal. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's, uh, like, I want to just tell a little story of our transaction. So one day we get a DM talking about exposure times. You know, we use, you know, base layer, shout out base layer emulsion. Uh, <laughs> Which brings us to our first sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, no. that would have been great, but no, they didn't. That, sorry, not this episode. Not this one. No, uh, and I, I literally at that, it's so funny, you hit me up. I was like, I actually got to use, you know, the emulsion before it was released. We were shooting, we did some video stuff for it, and Jared knew the exposure times and everything about these emulsions because he had to literally read the the lot, like just the, you know. Well, I had to read the entire like write up from the guy who designed it. Yeah. Yeah. Like that was how he like developed the the script for the videos because we don't want to like put something out there that's wrong, and yeah. so yeah, like yeah. we need to, yeah. and I don't like I can't talk about something that I don't know what I'm talking about yeah. so like I had to like, actually learn about it yeah. and I always joke that like for like being a non-printer I think I know more about screen printing than, yeah. than anyone else any anyone. other non-printer <laughs> <laughs> just because I just know way too much about it yeah like I could start my own screen printing business and probably be semi okay yeah. in the beginning yeah because of like I've never actually, I've never actually printed a shirt. You've never wanted I've never to put done your hands it. on it. And I do. We've kind of held off on it because we thought it'd be a fun video to do one day so of like sad. never, never done it before. I'm gonna try it for the first time on video. We just don't ever seem to have time. Yeah. But but yeah, that's why I've intentionally not ever pulled a squeegee for that reason. Well, I want to see this. And yeah. I, I told Jared I will film it because. Yes. <laughs> Maybe just use a tripod. <laughs> I'll push the button. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, pal. Hey, we all have our strong points, you know? <laughs> I'm doing that every single time. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, so you hit me up about exposure times. And I, I, I think I instantly asked, like, so, you know, how are you exposing your screen? <laughs> That floodlight or flood lamp or something like that, the right? Five hundred watt halogen, halogen light. Halogen. Like yeah. a work, like a work light. Just that a big light bulb on the PVC stand. Yeah, yeah. It's on I, PVC. Remember, I remember that. Yeah, and then we laid it like, like oh, it was, it was rough. Do you miss those days? No. <laughs> <laughs> In unison, oh so fast. Oh. That was kind of aggressive. No, yeah. no, no hesitation there. Um, no. But uh. it was, it was, it was literally that. I was like, "What?" I think you sent me a photo, and it was that instant thing of us like, "I got, I gotta help them out." <laughs> like it was like again. I when I you know I was telling them earlier uh, that like I started out and I had a buddy that invested some money into me. He's like, "Here's a check," and I went out and I bought all the equipment to be like to hopefully instantly turn this business profitable very quick. Um, and I had an exposure unit, yeah. I had a press, I had a conveyor dryer, I had all the, you know, and so... Spoiled rotten. <laughs> freaking brat. <laughs> um, but the cool thing um, about that was uh, we were, you know, working with our good friends Ryan it, and they, I actually, um, they were working with us, we were doing a video, they got us a new exposure unit, and I was like, I instantly responded with, you can have my old exposure unit. <laughs> it was just like that. And here's the thing, like the crazy thing about it is that didn't have a relationship with you. Didn't yeah. Yeah. like it was a few DMs back and forth. But for me, I like I have a softy heart on just like with anybody that's starting out and like doesn't like didn't have maybe the advantage that I did starting out. It was like if I have something that can help someone in that moment, it's 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 a no brainer for me. It's just like, hey, like you can have this one. It's actually taking up space. I need it out. It like, was in the way. It was. Yeah. It was. And it was I, a big one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I'm all about like. Okay. Well, it's actually it's solving a problem and it's 
uh, for me getting it out of my space but it's also you know you'll have a better idea of getting those exposure times mm -hmm. using the same emulsion and all that yeah. and it was literally i i think it didn't it happen pretty fast like i was like Yo yeah came, I, came you up. like texted like, me the next day and days. said like yeah. hey i think we're gonna rent a vehicle <laughs> yeah I was and like, we're renting a car. We're coming up, right? Like, yeah. Cause you got like a, you got rented like a minivan, right? We rented a, yeah. One of our buddies worked for Enterprise, <laughs> and uh, I was like, man, we need like a, va we need something that we're gonna be able to fit, like, so, yeah. you know. And he was like, well, here, just take one of these minivans, you know. Yeah. And we drove that up. No. Yeah. You know. I remember when y'all got there. You could see there was some hesitation of mm -hmm. like because we didn't know each other, right? Yeah. yeah. And and I remember at one point, <laughs> you looked over. You said. Why are you doing this? <laughs> yeah. Like you were so like waiting, yeah. like you're waiting for the joke. Like yeah. you're like waiting what, for the what's happening okay, here. So what's the catch? What, what's uh, the catch? motive here? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that turned into oh, uh, well, I have this press here that's kind of in the way. Do you guys want to take that too? Remember? And then yeah. I pawned off another press. Yes. I, yeah. I gave you two. Two presses yeah. and an exposure unit. So I guess it was good we got a minivan. Yeah. Well, I think my thing too is like. You know, I've always been in male-dominated industries. Yeah. You know, like we were talking about earlier, and like I'm, not, I'm not used to people being like, "Hey, you yeah. know, oh, you need help? Like, yeah, here you go." So yeah. I'm like, "Hold up, what? <laughs> yeah. What do you? What, what's up with this? That look right there. That's the look. Yeah. That, that was <laughs> the look. I remember it so clearly. Right yeah. 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 No, it was a little tilt back. Like, uh huh. What are we? What are we doing here? What's up? Yeah. What's happening? But it's. I mean. It was literally just the it was just the screen printing industry, and that the cool thing about that is that it's it's not just us. Like it's the industry. Like mm -hmm. a lot of people want to help mm -hmm. other shops out, yeah. whether it's just knowledge or time or whatever. Yeah. But uh, you know, with our initiative and stuff like that, holy smoke! So many people are willing to to give. I mean, like that's that's the cool thing is, and it opened up so many opportunities for people to start mm -hmm. doing it on their own. Mm -hmm. Like we, we heard all these stories of people re-gifting things did. and yeah. We took that stuff and when we upgraded, we passed that. it on to another local I printer. Know. Amazing. A female local a female printer, local which printer. was very important to us yeah. because, yeah. you know, we want to empower mm -hmm. yeah, females in this business, yeah. you know, so. 100%. Well, that's what we were talking about earlier is I think mm -hmm. that y'all are in a really u unique position to do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think Absolutely. that there's, I think that there's a really cool spotlight on you of like, you're doing something already unique in the industry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're yeah, already in your that. own like lane by yourselves doing yeah. your own thing. And, and you know, I, for one thing, I think that by itself is super rad. But then, like you said, being able to empower other women to be able to say like, Hey, you can do this you can too. Do this, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yep. Like you're in such a unique position to do that. And I think that's really, really cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's rad. So literally through, a few DMs. <laughs> I remember you guys showed up. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys remember your outfits? Black jeans, leather, leather, leather jackets. Leather jackets. Yeah. 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 We all we were all scared when you got out. <laughs> like this minivan. Woo! They're driving a minivan. It literally looked like they could have showed up on some freaking Harleys and just beat the crap out of us and oh, took the exposure man. unit. Uh, no, like it, it was just like, of course we we probably both did our research, like checking out profile Instagram profiles, uh -huh. like. Okay, they look harmless. Uh, that's what we did for you guys. I don't know if you did that for us, but uh, no. Um, but I remember that day that, like, I. It's funny. Jared kind of came to me afterwards. He's like, I just heard you like kind of talk in with them out front, and I, I like, I knew it was kind of like, oh, your interaction. He's like. But he had videos to edit or whatever, yeah. and he's like, I just kind of was like, man, I just wanted to talk with them yeah. and like he's like so i aggressively invited myself <laughs> that's my conversation <laughs> what did i tell you earlier today yeah. i tell you all the time you have not because you force not <laughs> if you want friends freaking go get them yeah. force it you gotta yeah. make it happen yeah yeah but you know it was also you know like you guys showed up and you're like oh what do we do do we shake hands and we instantly hugged which yeah. was awesome um, we're big huggers yeah, yeah. yeah. and oh well, we did that during covid too so <laughs> it's like we're good um but uh yeah and so that was literally that was the start and then you know 
we've you know just chatted back and forth and as time goes you've asked me some you know questions and uh so i there's this other thing that i do you know it's called uh you know pawning off old screens i don't need i literally got their address and i was like what's your address I'm like why and i'm like you'll, you'll figure it out it's like i was literally boxing up screens and just shipping them out just to get rid of my inventory just because i i just i knew I knew, again, a new screen would mm -hmm. help you not have to reclaim a, a screen like <laughs> yeah, right away yeah. if you could code another one. And um, side note, I brought them more screens you know, <laughs> today. Cause, not sure where we're going to put them yet. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was our problem. <laughs> My problem passed on to you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, no, it's it's been just so cool. Uh, the fact that, you know, we connected with you guys and it's uh you know i felt like it was instant yeah, yeah. Like, absolutely it really was it was just such a comfortable like thing and i felt like we instantly connected and had this great energy together mm -hmm. um we ended up being at the shop for like hours that oh, whole yeah. day yeah. yeah no that was the, yeah that was the other thing i was gonna <laughs> yeah, say we stayed y'all stayed Jared, late like we i was supposed to go home like two hours ago to bounce like, out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah jared like looked over me he's like I don't know, like uh, maybe one of you went to the bathroom or something like that, and Jared's like, "Is this okay that I'm up here?" I'm like, "Yeah, man." Like, like, <laughs> like, 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 yeah, we're just, you know, that's that's our thing is we have people stop by the shop all the time, and it's it's one of those days where it's like, eh, wasn't a productive day, but it's a beneficial day. Yeah, um, absolutely. Building relationships. And, yeah, and yeah, just meeting people in early stages of business and life and. Uh, we need, you know, we need to do this stuff together. And, Absolutely. Um, well, it's been really fun to like watch your progress over the last couple oh of years gosh. too. Oh, and I forgot. So this is your anniversary month for Pressure yes. Die, right? Two years. Two years. Bam. Dude, how yeah. cool is that, man? It's amazing. Super cool. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, I was, we were telling them, they're like, yeah, you know, it's it's going good. I'm like, it's going good. Like you guys freaking blue, like in our eyes, looking into your business, you guys have grown rapidly. And I don't, I don't think you guys fully understand it, and that's okay because it's on our end, but like, no joke, as soon as we were like, you know, I, I bought a shirt, freaking, I was so stoked I got that shirt. Like, again, I'm with Jared, like, can I do tie-dye? Like, <laughs> well, if it's black and white, I'm gonna probably wear it. Yeah. So, you, wear, you wear that one all the time. Yeah, yeah. and then, uh, so, got got a shirt in, freaking loved it. Um, but I was, uh, yeah, we just, I don't know, we just built this relationship back and forth, talking. Um, I bought I bought that T-shirt. I showed Jared. Jared's like, "Oh, that's new. That's new." I was like, "Yeah, freaking check it out." <laughs> and then jumping on, uh, I was like, "I think that was when afterwards you started jumping on their website, right?" Yeah, because I was like, because I, like I said, I always thought because whenever you whenever we talked about it, you're like, "Yeah, we do like tie dye stuff," and I was mm -hmm. like, "Okay, cool." <laughs> like yeah. I always thought of like the the green, pink, orange, right. blue spiral, spiral, right. spiral and I was like. Right on. I mean, yeah. some people like that. That's rad. I mean, whatever, yeah. you know. But then I was like, when I saw the shirt that he had, I was like, I've never seen that before. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> and then I, and then he said, yeah, they do something called like ice dye or something. I was just like, mm -hmm. what is that? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I don't even know what any of this is. <laughs> and so I was like, that's very interesting. And so I kind of deep dove into all y'all stuff because I was just trying to figure out what the crap y'all were talking about. Yeah. But we haven't done any ice dyes in a while. We've kind of like moved a little bit away from mm -hmm. dying as much as we used to because yeah. we're printing so many orders for people yeah, sure um but i really would like to get back into like doing some more dye stuff i'm really kind of surprised it hasn't died out <laughs> <laughs> oh man Love it. <laughs> you know like it's still going yeah. so because i because you know trends like they come and go for sure. you know yeah. and so i didn't think especially with tie-dye or with dyed stuff you know i don't really like to call it tie-dye yeah sure. it's not it's not really but um i really thought it would kind of die out and it didn't and it's just like getting bigger yeah. like all these shows everybody's wearing dyed stuff yep. and yeah. everything you know so well the 90s are on like this huge comeback and mm -hmm. you know like all those trends and you know some of them should have stayed there but yeah <laughs> but, <laughs> but like but some of them yeah i mean it's it's you are seeing it like a surge of that kind of stuff mm -hmm. do you so you you said that you're struggling you know or kind of tapered off from some of the dying stuff is it, 
how is that balance been? I mean, I know like you, is it hard to like kind of put some of that stuff to the side to work on orders? Is that, cause that's something we struggle with a lot too, of like, we want to be artistic and create our things, but when we're only doing orders for, you know, like local clients yeah. and stuff, sometimes it's not always as fun. We have a mixed, like a mixed yeah. thing with it. It's kind of a good balance, I guess, because a lot of our clients will order dyed garments with something printed on it mm -hmm. and then some people just want plain shirts you yeah. know with yeah. print um so we definitely still do a lot of dyeing but i don't i think what i meant by that is i don't get to experiment very much oh, okay anymore with it yeah. yeah um to where i used to like okay if i do this like what is this going to do and how you know like really trying to dive into it and do like different stuff that I'd never seen, you know? Right. Yeah. Um, and I just don't get the chance to really do that anymore. Well, and in the beginning we weren't screen printing, we were dying stuff, yeah. you know? And I think too, it was more about experimenting and trying to figure out like what we like and what other people like. Yeah. And after dying stuff for, you know, two years now, we know what people want and a lot of those other dyes we were doing were just kind of all in experiment and like fun for us right. but we have certain dyes and that's what the people want mm -hmm. yeah that's what clients want it's always yeah. kind of the same thing with yeah. maybe a color splash yeah. in there so. yeah i think it's like i think it's so crazy because i'm like a process guy and so i think about like what you guys do and it totally messes with me yeah. and the aspect of like Okay, I'm a client. I'm going to come to mm -hmm. Presser Dye and I'm going to say, hey, I would like you to dye some shirts for me and print on them. Mm -hmm. um, this and this and this. And I'm, my brain goes to, all right, I hope S&S &S can get these freaking shirts to me like ASAP just so I can print the job tomorrow. Oh, but first I'm going to dye them. <laughs> yeah, hand let dye them dry, wash them. Let them dry. Uh, mm -hmm. Deal with fibrillation like we talked about. Yeah. And figuring out, it's just like, whoa like that adds a lot yeah. more to the, oh, yeah. the actual order process to where I, I get hit up a lot of like hey can we get these shirts tomorrow like like <laughs> side note <laughs> and for all you freaking listeners good night i just found out it was it was when josh left which was how long ago now? a little bit yeah. but josh and i spent some time we were like uh just kind of building out some new processes going over the order form and stuff and i'm like man, we really need to be charging like more for like rush orders and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what's technical rush order in the screen printing industry? Anything two less weeks. than two weeks. Yeah. yeah. All I've ever done was orders less than a week yeah. really? to two weeks. Yes. Like when, I, when he started in his garage, he used to always say he wanted to be the Amazon prime of screen printing mm -hmm. and he would do two day turnarounds. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and I, it, it was like, it was thankfully SNS, &S, you know, the garments, like, it's like, if they can get here, I'll get the order done. Mm -hmm. That was my thing yeah. with my... It also wasn't thousand piece orders. Right. Yeah. You know, um, but yeah. still. I did some 300 piece, like, like literally two day turnarounds on and manual. stuff like that wow. on a manual. And like, and so I, I swore by it because that was the reason why I got into the screen printing was I just thought, and nowadays uh, I understand why a little more, but I just thought it was ridiculous. Like, wait, it's going to take two weeks for you to get this job done? Oh, wait four weeks like mm. what are we what are you doing like, you know like yeah. but i understand now in an auto shop that you know a majority of shops are they're just booked up it's not yeah. that they don't want to get it to mm -hmm. you faster it's just they have other clients that mm -hmm. are just leveling leveling overlapping 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 yeah. and then you're like oh crap i gotta i gotta knock out five orders today just to keep on schedule and so your order yeah i can order the shirts today but it's gonna take a few yeah. days to be able to get it and so your guys's process of i <coughs> might be able to hit that deadline you know like because like you have to get the shirts and mm -hmm. dye them and all that like that process have you guys had like a what's your last minute holy crap are we going to be able to get this job done uh, order? well we're currently took an order right now for reverse dyes, yeah. which is like the black and white, and <laughs> um, which is our most popular one. And we ordered the dye from the actual company, and what a week went by. No, it was like it week was and like a, half a week and a by. half. And I was like, why? Where? I have not gotten a confirmation or anything. Nothing. I emailed them. I'm like, hey, you know, because I get dye from all time. It's their their pro line, and. <laughs> 
they're like, oh, well, um, we're not going to be, the, the, the warehouse that makes uh, the chemicals for this, like, caught on fire, so this is not going to be available until after October, but we can send it to you then. I'm like, <laughs> well, uh, no. We've already taken on an order, and we have somebody else wanting to put in an order for yeah. this style of a dye. Yeah, yeah. so I, I basically told him, I was like, you know, I order for stuff from y'all all the time. I was like, but it would have been great, like, if y'all would have put this on the website to let people mm -hmm. know instead of, I paid for two, three day shipping, like, yeah, yeah, you know, and then the week, the, it kind of got behind me because we were so busy printing mm -hmm. and stuff, and then I realized, like, it's not here, and, yeah. you know, but our turnarounds usually, you know, two to three weeks, depending, you yeah. know, like, we could order a 50 hoodies dyed. I mean, that's... That's a lot. That's, that's, a, a, that's a lot. Because, yeah. That's a couple of days worth of You dying. know, it, the process that we do um, with pulling the color out of a garment, you yeah. know, we have to do that in 200 degree water. Yeah, so yeah. it's a hot dye process. And you can only fit so many hoodies in a pot. <laughs> Oh. Usually about three. Yeah. If they're bigger so, sizes, like two. Two. Oh, so you crap. think about it, you've got I, 50 of them. I've never That's even like thought of that. That's like 20 pots. You yeah. Know what I mean? So you're Jeez. literally pulling color out for a couple days. Couple days and then, then you, you and then you have them. to wash that. <laughs> and then we have to lay them all out and do whatever color on them that mm -hmm. they want done. So it's a couple different processes. Well, and then, then after that, you know, they have to sit. And then you have to wash that out, dry them, then you get to print them. <laughs> There's a reason why we don't do that. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to specialize in that. It's also kind of why we we don't... We, we cap it at 50. We, yeah, with like hoodies and stuff. Sure. It's a lot. Well, hoodies yeah. has got to be so much more of a process. Oh, I mean, not, not even just it, the size, but like take more it's just so much just thicker. Yeah. 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 It, hoodies really soak up the dye, so mm -hmm. it takes... It takes a ton of dye to do them. Time. Uh, it takes a ton of time. And then by the time you're Arm like strength. bent over, <laughs> yeah. like doing this, That's you know, your ball. legs are like hurting. And one time when we when we did our first batch of 50, <laughs> I had them all laid out in the driveway. And like we were bringing them out and I was dying. I couldn't even walk the next day oh. because <laughs> I bent over. Like the yeah. back of my legs were hurting so bad. And I was like, I don't think I ever want to do this no. again. Yeah. But we've done it several times. Yeah. So. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. t-shirts are a little bit like easier mm. but hoodies are definitely joggers um, like jogging pants yeah and yeah they're Tough. they're aggressive Man, they're <laughs> aggressive <laughs> Wait, i'm gonna put in an order of 100 hoodies <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna deny you they cap it at 50. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. No, i think no. i can you, you know the owner yeah you know, you know you know the owners I, I think i can make this uh kind of have a relationship i think i can them. sweet talk the owners and see what <laughs> yeah. just, gotta no, get well, some, that, just gotta get some fudge pie right yeah 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 that'll do it well, that's yeah. just really uh, that's so eye-opening to me i'm so glad we asked that because like that's you know as far as like the dyes and stuff like that that's like you know literally uh literally uh <laughs> <laughs> i running the auto we're we uh, said bye bye to ordering gallons of white. Like just, yeah. oh yeah, order a new gallon of white. It's five gallons. Five now. gallons. And absolutely. it's just like, ah, like it's. Um, and we obviously run F and Ink, which brings me <laughs> to our sponsor, <laughs> to our actual sponsor, which is a legitimate sponsor of this channel. <laughs> and I'm going on a wing here, Jared. Okay, oh, you're just gonna do it live. Let me just go. Okay. okay go ahead. Whoo. Ah. Uh, F and Ink. Oh man, let me tell you about F and Ink. <laughs> it is literally the most aggressive ink out on the market. Market. There it is. <laughs> Woo. Um, no, uh, we use F and Ink, and Press or Die uses F and Ink. Yes. And let me tell you, it's F and awesome. F and, and awesome. It has an F and mixing system that you can mix thousands of colors. And yeah, you can't go wrong. You should give it a try. Um, works on a manual and an auto. Uh, a low cure. An auto. <laughs> yeah, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Bought an auto. Uh, Mr. I bought an auto. Um, no. Uh, low cure, low creamy, cure. full bodied. I don't know what those mean. I just Robust. know that they're. Yeah. I know that they're words that I'm supposed to. I'm not a printer. I'm I sorry. Just to say. I know what low cure means. Yeah. But we uh, we just finished up a job. Also, the reason why we're here in Nashville to deliver some shirts. And let me tell you, we did uh, over 
1500 shirts, six color fronts, six color backs, custom tag prints, all using F and Inks mixing system. Plus a bunch of hoodies. Uh, plus a bunch of hoodies. And let me tell you, those colors, um, they came out awesome. I actually might have Jared like throw in some clips of some I shots. Can do that. We also did a whole video about it, which I'll link in the description. That too. Um, but yeah, anyways, if uh, you're looking for an ink, look no further. Just one? If you're looking for just one ink? <laughs> an ink brand. <laughs> look no further, give F and ink a shot. Link in the description. And real quick, just to tell you, that's pretty good. I'm proud of you. See? Not bad, not <laughs> bad. on the flow but listen, with, with maybe three hours of sleep in the last, uh, whew, 24 yeah. hours. I'm freaking <laughs> rocking and rolling. So F and Inc's name came from uh, the FN stands for financially necessary. Uh, one thing that F and Inc prides themselves in is their pricing. Yeah. So uh, you know if you're looking for inks and you're you know if you're looking for one specific ink and you want to give something a try, try F and Inc. Uh, you'll save yourself a few bucks. Yep. Yeah. So. Hundred percent. Now back um, to the podcast. You love that. Oh, that's another thing he absolutely hates. Because he's trying to do like the the slate. <laughs> he's like, you're not even doing it right. You're not. That's how you're supposed to do it. You're a freaking no like a normal person, you psychopath. Oh, man. He always does that. But like, but he does, he won't even just do it once. He'll be like, all right, Jared, uh, we're gonna we're gonna cut right here. <laughs> we're gonna cut right here. Like, stop doing that. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Five, four, <laughs> aggressively in my ear every so, time. You, you know, in Wayne's World, when they always do the count in. Oh, uh, yeah. So I always like, I'll be, he'd be like, "All right, we're getting ready to start." It's like, "Yeah, we'll get started and stuff." And then I'll wait for him to, like say something else. And I'll interrupt him. Five, four, three. <laughs> <laughs> and I hate it every time. So we have to equally hate stuff that. But he's on. Does. He's on the phone every time. <laughs> you were witness to this. Yeah. He's always on the phone if we're gonna shoot a video. Yep. Oh. Happens. Yep. Every time. It does. <laughs> Anyways, we, anyway, we, we were, were talking, talking about F and Ink. Yeah. <laughs> what were you talking about with F and Ink? I forgot. <laughs> oh no, I remember. Uh, we order. Sorry. I don't. Listen. What no the heck was that? You just thumped my face. Right. Listen. There's no arms on these chairs, and I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here, seriously, feel this. That's what he did to me. Oh my god. Here, you gotta feel it. Here. It's because I don't know what he to has do. To feel it too. Oh, he got me. All right. Yeah, he did the one. I just oh. don't know where to put my hands right now. We have to leave this in there. Oh my god. Right. Yeah, I kind of watched your arm go up, and I was like, and then you went like that, and I was like, all right. All right. We're well, very close at Golden Press. We are. Oh, anyways, uh, yeah, I was just saying, we, you know, like talking about your dyes and how it's like, oh, shoot. Uh, oh, sweet. It'd be nice to know that you're not sending those dyes out because I need those for this job that's on a deadline. <clears throat> and it just adds, like, like, man, I can't, it still blows me away that that adds a lot, like mm. a lot of stress too, and the order itself. Sure. Um, but I was stressing this last week because I was like, we had a five gallon bucket <laughs> and no joke, we scraped the bottom oh. of that, put it in our gallon and we were literally positioning our jobs because mm -hmm. we had f massive full back prints, but then we had like pocket prints and I was like, all right, burn all the pocket print screens and we're gonna run all the pockets first and hopefully the ink's gonna show up in time. Cause everything gets an underbase. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So everything's underbased on this job. Yeah. And like you said, uh, we did the math. It was like almost 30,000 impressions yes. by the time we were done with everything. That's um, just cause like six color pockets, yeah. six color back on most yeah. of it. And so there's a couple that I think are five, but yeah, um, but yeah it's it was it was a lot. And so since we're having to underbase everything, we just watched that white just Dwindle just mm -hmm. went away. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that we had is to, a scary feeling. We yeah. had to switch. Yeah. We had to switch gears pretty quickly. Yeah, but you know, like again, I, I think we're I think we're all doing a little better since like COVID and supply chain, oh, yeah. where we can. <laughs> but it's it's one of those things. It's like we have this new thing. Jordan, and I go, hey, as soon as you see something, you know, because I'm not always at the shop nowadays, mm -hmm. so I can't be like, oh, supply check. You know, mm -hmm. are we good on this and this? Um, we have just a, a note on our iPhones, and he puts something in, I get a notification. I instantly order that nowadays just because mm -hmm. keeping up with uh, 
whew, if you don't have the supplies, you can't do the job yeah, yeah. and you can't do that fast turnaround time, which I take pride in and mm -hmm. I hit those deadlines as much as I can. But now I understand it's just try it. When you, this is a cool thing is when you build a brand or a company um, and uh, you have to keep up with the demand. And that's mm -hmm. the thing yeah. is I, f I feel a, uh, a responsibility to one, continue to buy new equipment that will help my our processes go faster to be able to hit those turnaround times, but also just, you know, I want, I want people to just be able to trust me that, hey, I have an event. Mm -hmm. No joke, we're, we're down delivering shirts to a buddy that has the event tomorrow, and man, we pulled some late nighters just uh, to get this thing done. Last night before we drove down here, um, me and Jordan and Jonathan were all staying late at the studio for a few nights, but but last night, uh, me and Jordan went home. I went to go get the van that we were gonna drive, and Jonathan was like, I'm gonna, I gotta finish everything, because we literally were leaving this morning. And I get a text at like 6.09 a.m. was like, hey man, you, you about ready to head this way? He's like, yeah, I got the van, I'm, I'm, I'm on my way. And he was like, all right, I got the last run of shirts going on the press now. I was like, you were printing all night long? He's like, yep, <laughs> see you in a little bit. I'm gonna go take a shower at the house, I'll be back. Yeah, it was, I don't, <laughs> it's a perfect uh, plug for uh, screen printers are a different breed. Because <laughs> yeah. I literally, I was just thinking that entire time, you're like, why am I doing this? You know, like legitimately, yeah. like I could have called, I mean, think about it like this. Like, I think we did like seven or eight different designs, mm -hmm. uh, you know, over 1500 pieces or whatever, 200 shirts and, or 200 quantities in each design. Yeah. I think he probably could have been okay if he didn't have 200 shirts, you know, like, yeah. and we like did it, you know, finished it and shipped it out. But again, you know, I take pride in that, and I was that's, like, "That's not what I ordered. It's not what I said either." I said, mm -hmm. "Yeah, I can get it done." Well, that's where, why you're at where you're at yeah, now, absolutely. for sure. You know, for sure. Um, so this is one thing I want to talk with you guys about that I think is, or really talk to everyone else and really promote what you can do for other shops too, because I think, man. What if you guys had like a, I'm not trying to tell you how to run your business or anything, uh, <laughs> but here it comes. If, but here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> what if you guys had a website of the custom dyes that you did and you actually turned into a wholesale site for people? Where it was, it was it's to where something you're not giving away separate. the secrets, you know. Yeah. But you're, you know, because that's what like every time I look at SNS and I order tie dye stuff, I instantly hate it. Yeah, it's I'm not like, good. I won't. <coughs> well, wish and it's the it's I what the could. client the client like there's a there's a client that we have that orders this specific type of tie dye they love it yeah and and it's just like it could be better yeah it exactly. could be so much better <laughs> if only you knew if only you knew um, I I instantly think of let's see well I could just order this really good brand of shirts also mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. tie dye and a good quality brand of shirt <laughs> usually doesn't don't. happen yeah um, but like man I'll just order some AS color because I love that brand yes don't judge me which uh, brings us to our I next sponsor I love it too <laughs> I, <laughs> I, wish. I, I wish this is AS color here so right here best. yep mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but like I just wish I was like yep I'm gonna order AS color shirts have them shipped to you guys and this is what I'm thinking. The customer understands that they're gonna get a, like they can't get this custom dye anywhere else. It's not gonna look like anything, you know, yeah. anything they've ever seen. And I'm gonna order it, you guys are gonna dye it, and then you're gonna ship the shirts out to me and I'm gonna print it. But anyways, like you guys are doing, like I just love the fact that you guys are doing these custom dyes, but I also love the fact, I was talking with you one day of how because you guys are screen printers, mm -hmm. you can think of cool ways to dye the shirt and also have the print complement the shirt. Yeah. yeah. Which is insane. I, I've told I do you remember the shirt I'm talking about? Like it's to where it's split down the middle. Oh yeah. And it's like just one sided, but it's oh man, it's that's so our half baked and yeah. that that was our half baked and that is probably one of our biggest sellers yeah. is yeah. the half baked. 
the half baked hoodie and the half baked tee. Yeah, but it's like it. for me, like visually, as a like you know, I'm not like don't take this wrong. Like I'm not an artist. But visually, I can see things that I'm like, man, I think that would just look really good. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, a lot of my clients hit me up and say, well, what do you think? You know, they'll send me a design and, and I'll say, well, I think that'll look good as a pocket print and a full back or just across mm -hmm. the chest. And so I have a lot of my clients asking me those uh, questions. But I'm like, man, having the half baked like tie dye and then literally positioning a pocket perfectly yes. mm -hmm. to where or like even say hey like screen printer to screen printer saying hey this is the print location i want to do can you create a die around mm -hmm. that yeah. to where it's it's focusing the die on the it. print mm -hmm. which is again that's what you guys can do and i think that's one of those such an insane aspect that nobody else can do that and yeah. nobody else can think about that um, in the process. So your business plan is I'm just going to order a lot of blanks and I'm going to send them to you <laughs> and you're going to dye everything and then <laughs> I'm going to create a tie <laughs> a dyeing wholesale account. It's a little aggressive. You need to I'm going to have to like, we're going to have to like hire employees. We and, would have to get on <clears throat> an industrial level. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Doing that, but yeah. I mean, it's doable. No, like, I mean, again, it, 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 Everything can start out small batch, mm -hmm. and as again demand grows, mm -hmm. yeah. employees grow, and yep. you know, because I think you guys have something that nobody else can offer, um, at least on the level that you guys are doing it, and that's freaking sweet. Yeah, and we're always looking for new like new things to to do. Yeah, because like I was saying, like you know, we don't know how long tie dye or dyeing is gonna last in the yeah. trend world, right? Yep. You know, mm -hmm. so. We're looking for that next thing, like okay, when this dies out, what what can we do yeah. here? Yeah, you yeah. know. Um, one thing that we figured out that was really cool was um, making a shirt look vintage yeah. by partially pulling out yeah. the color of it. Yeah. Um, and so I think that's something that you know, kind of like the comfort colors where they look, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, almost vintagey and yeah. like. Um, we came up with a couple of things mm -hmm. like that. So we're just trying to figure out different things. I said things like three times. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I'm getting tired. Yeah. Um, it's been a long day. It yeah. has been a long day. Appreciate y'all. Y'all just yes. sticking with us. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. We're super stoked y'all are here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just trying to figure out what that new trend is going to be. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, we're not necessarily Staying like ahead. trendy people. Sure. You know, yeah. we... We tend to do what we like, yeah. but we're also figuring out that we need to we need to do things that other people like as well. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, so that that's been a learning process mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Because I want to put black on everything. <laughs> you know, like hundred <laughs> percent. All the dyes, like they have to have black in them. You know, yeah. that was kind of like the signature look that we created. Well, yeah, when we, we started. Would, we would dye white shirts, whatever. Do like an ice dye with a bunch yeah. of crazy colors, and we'd be like. No, nope. it needs black. It's got to go yeah. in black. So we would just yeah. put it in black, and that's kind of how all the dark dye stuff started. Yeah, so just putting everything so in black. Answer this for me: Is it easier to dye a white shirt, even if it's black or whatever, or easier to suck out, like in your guy, suck out the dyes out of a black shirt? Does that make sense? It's easier to remove the color. Is I think. I feel like dyeing white shirts you just deal with so many colors bleeding together and creating uh, different colors and that and it running into the white which yeah red you know, always turns pink yeah like, just yeah. stuff like it's that. hard to keep the shirt white now there is, there is like uh laundry additives and stuff like that yeah. that you could use yeah. um to keep that from happening and i've used mm -hmm. most of these and it is really hard to keep a white shirt white in those areas yeah. with other dyes on it yeah. cool yeah so i would say black yeah. removing or not necessarily black just pulling color out of pulling the garment is easier than putting it on yeah. right yeah that well, so, so that's crazy it's kind of almost like an opposite in the screen printing it's like black ink on a white shirt all day long let's go yeah yeah i was like oh colors on a black shirt under base potentially <laughs> or you know doing yep. discharge printing it's like oh i got to Oh, got to make sure this, 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 you know, so that's, that's cool. That's really cool. Um, do we want to talk about the initiative? I was going to say, I think that's the next thing to talk about is, is, uh, because it's been a little bit, we've had to, 
we're doing some remodeling and um, some changing of some things around. We've added in the new tattoo shop into the front space, mm -hmm. yeah. um, which is so cool. So it's awesome. uh, it, it like going in there every day now. Looks, it's like how did we not do this earlier? Like oh it, it's like it's a, it's supposed to be that. Yeah, yeah. it really looks and feels like it was just always there. Yeah. Um, so with that happening though, we're kind of reorganizing the original print studio. Yep. Um, we're gonna be moving offices back up into the loft, yep. reorganizing some stuff. And so we're trying to finalize, you know, some setups for podcast and, <laughs> and stuff like that. The, and the, so the podcast table was my dining room table, then it became the podcast table, <laughs> then I took it back and took a few boards off and reconstructed it, and now it's my dining room table again. Yeah, <laughs> so we don't have that table anymore, so we're trying to figure out, like, all right, what's the best way to mm -hmm. to, to do the new setup? And so we're, we're trying to figure that out. It's the reason we haven't had an episode in a while, yeah. um, but... Uh, the initiative is still something we want to do. We want to do more of it. Yes. And we thought this would be a perfect opportunity because we've been talking about collabing for like two years. Yes. 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 And we just really haven't had the right opportunity mm -hmm. to make it happen. And this feels like the right opportunity. Yeah. yeah. Um, to where we can do like a really cool, like, you know, something, some really unique dye, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. With like, a really cool print on it. We got to figure out artwork. I don't yeah. think we've decided any of that yet. No. But we just want to say that that's in the works, mm -hmm. and that will be the next initiative item, yes. yeah. where we're gonna create something together, and then we're gonna put that out there for sale, and all those proceeds are gonna go to hooking somebody up mm -hmm. with a new piece of equipment or something like that to yeah. further them in their print journey. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I, lo I love, you know, uh, you know, our first initiative, it, it was so cool. Like, it's, it, you know, it's, it's so much more than a PC equipment. It like, yes, that obviously helps. But like, I love that, you know, Boyd Creative, like, they're like, we're gonna just take that $500 that you guys gave us and like create like, or hook up water in their mm -hmm. in their garage because they're like up north. Yeah. And it was like, that was just an expense. They didn't couldn't really justify mm -hmm. doing but now they have a washout booth they have a sick looking shop that's awesome. nowadays like they freaking oh green and black flake the oh, their garage floor like took everything out like i think they vaulted their garage like they made it look sick but yeah. it, it you know our goal with the initiative is uh to help someone um destroy a pain point in their business or a bottleneck to help them out to where it's just like just just look how much faster or how much more efficient your shop is now all because we got to partner up with some of our friends and did something cool you know yeah. so yeah. you know press or die they're gonna you know we're gonna send out some shirts to them we're gonna create this they're gonna create this cool custom die um, they're gonna dye the shirts they're gonna ship them out to us um, and we're gonna Corey, we're gonna kind of collab on a, a, a sweet design, and then we'll uh, we'll print the shirts. They'll be for sale, and yeah, all proceeds freaking go to helping out another shop. Yes. yes. And the cool thing about like the whole reason we started all this, and we've talked about this before, but I always like to reiterate it is is because it's just so much freaking fun oh my yeah. to give stuff away. Yeah. yeah. Like. If you haven't done it, I encourage you to try it. Take that thing that's been in the corner that you're like, oh, I'm going to sell that one day. And just go give it to somebody who needs it. Yeah. Yeah. I dare you to do it. Yeah. It's a blast. Yeah. I promise you it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, and, and I think that if more and more people do that, they'll they'll kind of catch that same bug. Because yeah. that's the thing is like we just we've always kind of been givers and we're just kind of addicted to it because it's a yeah. freaking blast. Oh my well, it's selfless service. You know yeah. what I mean? So yep. it's like... Nothing feeds the soul exactly. more mm -hmm. than yep. doing something for somebody else, you know. Hundred yeah. percent. And that's and then you hear the you know the the stereotypical like statements like right the the um you know the I can't even think of the right phrasing that I'm thinking of but like you you hear these 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 phrases that get um, said a lot. What am I thinking of? What is that word? <laughs> no, no, I'm like uh uh. I'm an idiot. That's that's gonna. I'm gonna put it on the screen right here. You're an idiot. Um, this is the word you're thinking of. Oh, Good lord. Gosh. Anyway, <laughs> the thing that somebody says all the time, and and it's uh, whatever. Um, 
<laughs> it's driving me nuts. Um, action speak louder? No, 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 not okay. the actual phrase, but uh, the thing that it's called. Uh, um, I'm completely lost. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Uh, so. Let me bring you back in. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, you guys. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so what I was saying, we're also delirious. Uh, um, no, I just it, like these things that get said all the time. You know, they can be. It can be easy to like dismiss them right. or like take it for granted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but the truth is that like receiving something like that is obviously really cool. You, you feel like a kid on Christmas morning. Yeah. You know what I mean. But being the one to like watch that kid's eyes light up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When they unwrap the thing that you gave them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. is so much better yeah it's so much better and so that's that's really the the heart behind the initiative yeah mm-hmm. it's it's the goal behind it all uh we just got addicted to this giving thing it's just too much yeah. fun it is. and and now we're just trying to pull our friends in to be a part of it and yeah. and that's the cool thing is like we get to we get to you know collaborate on some stuff and like let's freaking hook up a shop with something they need yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and we uh we also we'll, we will jump back on this too we have some hot ticket Hot ticket items. Gold, uh, gold ticket. Gold ticket items. Nice, nice try, though. <laughs> They're hot, too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going off with some crazy trying to remember. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We've literally branded everything. Like, Corey's got, like, fonts, hot gold, uh, gold out, uh, just everything gold. So, um, but we, uh, those gold ticket items, it, we've had some really, we've sent out, what, a heat press? But it wasn't our heat press. It was another shop. Mm-hmm. A, yeah. t- a T print actually, literally. He's like, "Yeah, I got this heat press in my closet. I'm gonna." And literally, I gave him an address and had him like box it up, give me weight and you know size of the box. Mm-hmm. Sent over a paid label. Sent it out. A new shop got a heat press that they really needed. Yeah. Guess what? We didn't even like. We just encouraged someone else to do it. And yeah. again, we encourage you guys. You know. There's some more of those gold ticket items, and we need to we need to like put another file, another thing. post out there, like kind of showing what those are, and um, going through some of that stuff, and get some nominations going for some of these things to find a home. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's uh, we were actually kind of caught off guard with how many there were. Yeah. And the, to be honest, there were so many people that wanted to give stuff away that's awesome. that we just couldn't keep up with it. Uh, there was a lot. That's so uh, And it's so cool. And that's just mm-hmm. aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just a testament to the screen print community yep. and yeah. how willing, you know, everybody is yeah. to, to help and be a part of something awesome. So mm-hmm. yeah. lots of fun. So that's, that's sad. That's happening. I'm excited. We've been talking about this for two yes. years. Yeah. 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 So. Which is, it's too long, but I'm glad. Yeah. Because now we get to do, yeah. do it this way, yes. which I think yeah. is going to be more what fun. What did you yes. say that day? Gold, golden press or die. Yeah. Golden press or die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Golden press or die collab. Golden press. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking I was like golden press, press or, press or die, golden press, press or, or die. die. Oh, it's gotta happen. <laughs> so, no, I'm stoked. I think that's gonna be. I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, I I'm I'm trying to think of what it's gonna look like, but I don't know because Corey's. Who knows that guy? Yeah. Shout out Corey Romizer. Yeah. He, if you're not following him on Instagram. Shout out Corey. Shout out, shout out, Corey. <laughs> Corey! Corey! <laughs> yeah, if you're not following his Instagram, you really should. He's posting a lot of art. He's yeah. doing a lot more art now, um, making it a point to really put it online. He is. Yeah. And uh, he's getting better. He's so proud. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I know him. <laughs> um, we always like to try to try to answer a question that like you know we have a we have a lot of followers who send us dms and they'll ask like questions like you know help me with this help me with this um but i don't we don't have anything like really pressing right now that's like somebody like we're getting a ton of this question so i think our thought was like what's something that maybe it's not a question that you guys have gotten but what's something like some words of encouragement um, you know, to like push somebody like, so we talked earlier today about mm-hmm. mountains and valleys, right? Mm-hmm. Which I'll just share real quick. Um, yeah. so we were talking about mountains and valleys and kind of like how we, we have these really great experiences 
and we have some really low experiences during, as we talk about, as it pertains to screen printing, yeah. they, they were just saying like, oh, it's just been up and down. Mm-hmm. You know, it kind of had, it's, it's been an up and down journey. And I was just talking about how, like, I find that so interesting because you, we like physically can't go from mountaintop to mountaintop. Yeah. Like you can't jump over the valley. It doesn't exist. Right. There's no possible way for us to do that. Yeah. And so it's so encouraging to me whenever you're in one of those like slums, the the terrible times, the part where it's just like uncomfortable, not fun. You're trudging through the trail. You know, it's not enjoyable. Mm-hmm. But it it's an encouraging time because you just left something awesome and you're headed towards something awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you have to experience the valley to get to the next mountain. There's top. always so much growth in the valley. Yeah. yeah. Th- you know? I think that's where real growth is, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause you have to get in that dark part. I feel like mm-hmm. at least for me, like I have to get to that dark part to like be like, man. And then, and then there's this intense growth that comes from it. And, you know, like we were saying early, like you don't give up five minutes before the miracle happens, you know, Mm because if you keep if you keep pushing and this is something that you really want to do, you just have to keep going and not give up. You know, that's with anything, you know, Um, you just have to keep going and not give up and 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 just believe and manifest and believe in yourself and your self-worth like Mm -hmm. you can do this but you got to keep pushing because you know it's like one of my my good friends tells me all the time and he's been a business owner for over 30 something years you know and he's like you know the first five years are rough and you're not even a real business until like five years and you don't even really see tons of profit until you know after that and that really put it in perspective for me like man so we got three more years. <laughs> so, and then the other statistic is like uh, seven years. After you get like past seven years, then your percentage of you failing as a business actually like it. It goes down a lot. It, yeah, it goes down a lot. So. Yeah, like because that first, if you can make it through that first seven years, um, you know, then then you. I can't remember what the number is, but like it does yeah. like drastically drop. Yeah. Hey, guess Here's, what year we're on. Seven. Seven. <laughs> yeah. Nice. It's been an aggressive How, year. <laughs> Very aggressive. Is, uh, yeah. we've, been, we've been chilling in that valley, but yeah. Matt, I think I see the yep. Yeah. The mountain top. Like I can't see it yet, but it's there. Yeah. I know it's there. It's if covered I keep in on. fog. Yeah. yeah. You're like yeah. starting to pack your bag in your tent. Yeah. 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 Definitely trudging up the mountain. Yeah. Um, and and just you know just to be um, super real and authentic, you know, just. You know, we've been doing this seven years, and for us, this is a crazy transition. It's like so many things, so many moving parts, and mm-hmm. I, I, just within the last few months, it's it's been heavy. It's been really heavy, and it's like, you know, I I, I mean, again, you know, we all have you know thoughts that it's like, yep, that was there and that was gone, but I've had some thoughts here lately. I'm like, man, do I really want this? <laughs> you know, like. Yeah. Like, do I really? And then I quickly get checked, and it's just like, I get to work with my best friends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, they're all doing what they love. Mm-hmm. I'm doing what I love, and we're doing it together, and we're building a brand and something that other people care about, and like, mm-hmm. people are interested in what we do. And so, what if we don't do that? Then they don't have something to look forward to. And so, um, but yeah, it's it's hard. Um, hang on tight mm-hmm. yes but uh keep on keeping on life's a garden <laughs> <Take it. Come laughs> on. Get out of here. no i i i do love we'll say this and then we can we can we can sayonara out but um <laughs> yeah. let's cut, let's cut. Uh, no but i do love what you said about not giving up five minutes before your miracle mm-hmm. because it's it's so true how often you see people give up right before a breakthrough yeah, yeah. yeah. like right before it's like you don't know how close you were Mm -hmm. like the dam was about to just bust open um and and so let that be like somebody get encouraged by it because Mm -hmm. be persistent yeah yeah like you know what i mean what's another five minutes yeah you know in the grand scheme of things yeah Mm -hmm. you know so just keep going keep pushing don't give up be patient yeah Connect with other shops. Yeah, like, absolutely. Like I know for a fact. I know you are the same way as us. Like we're super open and respect uh, and and um, res- yeah. well, yes. I don't, I don't know what word I was trying to say. <laughs> um, 
Wow, we're man. receptive. There it is. There it is. <laughs> we're open and receptive to people like sending yeah. us DMs, and we like to connect with people. I know you are the same way. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, connect, man. Get 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 into a network. Uh, tap into you know community. It's important. Yeah. Yep. Um, we, we've tried to really like connect with our local printers and stuff like that, yeah. and we've had we've made a really good relationship with 1585. Shout out to them. 1585. They're yeah. amazing. Um, and you know, just it, it's just so important to mm-hmm. have like to have people like that on your side. You yeah. know, like yeah. there was there was one time where. You know, she was in the middle of an order and yeah. completely ran out of ink. And I was like, what do you need, dude? <laughs> and, I, you know, we came here, we grabbed the ink, no. took it. Met her and it was like, halfway. you know, here we, here you go. And she was able to finish the order. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's the things that we should be doing for each other. Yeah, that's right. You know, because I know she would do the same thing for us. Oh, yeah. 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 You know, so. Yeah. And how. That's how, what it's all about. <laughs> how bad would that suck if you were just like. Mm, uh, sorry, sucks yeah, to be you. That, I'm sorry. And then the next time when you, you need something, something you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're, you're in a bind. You yeah. don't have that buddy to help you. Yeah. You know. So, yeah, that's. I, I love that. You just. Yeah, man. We're not competing with everybody. Like no. we don't have to be. There's no. room for everyone it, to win. It's very yep. clear Always. that like, like, hey, I'm gonna take your business. I can't because you do something <laughs> yeah. far better and greater than I can in dying. However, you're not going to take my business because we do something different in our realm, and it, and that's yeah. it. Everyone does something different. Everyone mm-hmm. has their own identity of their brand, mm-hmm. and it works well. Um, so let's just feed everyone's presses yep. with a bunch of shirts. Yes. Yeah. Then everybody eats. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's the goal. And feed each other's hearts. Mm, come on. <laughs> I love you. I love all of you. <laughs> this has been one of my favorite episodes. Yeah. 100%. Uh, yeah. Beep, beep. Like, all of it. It's like, we have so many. <laughs> Jared, I'm not going to forgive you for that one. That, you thumbed There's it. nowhere to put my arms. I don't, I can't put my arms anywhere. I wish there would have been a camera, like, over here. Just right. Because it was almost, like, awkward at first. <laughs> Well, I felt awkward, yeah. but I wasn't gonna stop. I'm was so excited to it watch was just this. Like that. <laughs> I need somewhere for my arm to go. Oh my god! Oh, this man. has been fun. Thank yes, you for watching yes. slash yeah. listening. Uh, we appreciate it. Good. If you're not following Press or Die, yes. sorry I interrupted you. That's fine. Uh, if you're not following Press or Die, what the heck are you doing with your life? Give us a follow. Like, get it together. Follow. Check them out. Uh, hit them up in the DMs. <laughs> Finally sip it on that water. Yeah, just um, it's, it's all the ice is perspiring. Melting. Yeah, it's a little moist. But yeah, um, <laughs> stay tuned. There's gonna be some cool stuff coming. Go check out Golden Press's YouTube channel. We have a whole really cool video that we did on Press or Die Don't. Shop Highlight. Go mm-hmm. watch that. It's gonna be really cool. Um, thank you all for opening your shop up. Let yes. us come hang out for the day. Thanks Anytime. For Lots Anytime. of fun. Always welcome. Awesome. Nick. Yeah. Y'all any- welcome around here, okay? Yeah. <laughs> See, I feel so at home back in the South. Oh, my gosh. I've, I've hated this today and seeing how comfortable you are. No. No, I'm just kidding. No. 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 I don't know what you're talking about. All right. Awesome. You need to close this out. What do you, you, you got to say something? Yep. <laughs> Good. And wrap.